Hello everybody and welcome to the pizza cookbook episode. Now today, before we start cooking, we're going to go through a few of the optional ingredients and explain why I'm going to use these specific ones. To start, let's look through cheese. Since everyone knows it's very important, you need cheese on pizza. There's only two types of cheese you can use. Richard's and then other ones just called cheese. If you look at both of them, they're both exactly the same. You don't have to worry, just whichever one you can get your hands on, there's no difference. Now tomato is going to make a bit of a difference. It calls for tomato sauce, which you can use a tomato, tomato palati, or tomato sauce. Each one has a different amount of carbs, of fat, of protein, and so on. The only difference is that the tomato palati is two uses. And I'm fairly certain you only use one of the uses on the tomato sauce, so you're getting only eight carbs. But if you look at this tomato sauce, you're getting 17.8 which is much more than the regular tomato. So I would highly recommend using this brand tomato sauce. It also calls for vegetables. Now, each vegetable, we've gone through this. There's a list if you want to look at which one you would like to use. Honestly, potato has the highest amount of carbs and protein out of all of those vegetables. So I would highly recommend using the potato. If you think that's weird to put on a pizza, it's because it is. But so is broccoli and other things on that list. Vegetables are going to be tomatoes. And finally are the mushroom. But we're just going to quickly go through the types of mushrooms you can use on your pizza. And remember, which ones are poisonous? Poisonous ones would be anything called amanita. There's four types of amanita poison mushrooms. Anything with the this psilocybe as well is a poisonous one. Anything with red text in it tells you it's poisonous. You can tell the poisons in there. Those are the only five you don't want to eat. Everything else is good to use if you want. I would highly recommend the Boltus because it has the highest grams of protein and carbs. But honestly, it's going to be hard to find that. You're going to be just looking around for mushrooms. They don't really matter that much. The Fistula also has a lot of carbs and protein. It actually has more than the other one. But this one, I've never seen this one in scum. I've seen this one around, but not this one. Most likely, you're going to find the Agaricus, which is fine. It really is not going to make that much of a difference. But for the sake of this video, we're going to use the best one, which in this case, I guess, is the fistula. Now, in this one, there are optional ingredients for oil, which we are going to add because we want it to be 100% perfect. There's something I need to tell you guys. I've actually been giving you false information. You don't need to put the oil in to get a perfect cooking in some recipes. I didn't put oil in any of these pizzas, and they all came out perfect quality. If I did put oil, you could add 200 grams of fat to each pizza. So we're going to go ahead and start cooking these. They all look like they're 10 minutes, which is super quick. That's only like three minutes in real time, which should go by pretty darn quick. I'll come back when all the pizzas are done. All right, now that was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Obviously, 10 minutes per pizza doesn't take long at all. Um, so here we are. There's only six pizzas. This was actually really quick. And um, now that looking at the stats, I don't think I'm going to cook other foods like I know that you need an oven to cook pizza so you're going to need to bring a generator somewhere that there is a uh, oven but there are quite a few good spots to do this at the scrap yard's a pretty good spot because you can lock the doors and people can't shoot in there is one oven in some of the little buildings in the scrap yard also the brick factory is good there are three kitchens all along the side of the brick factory that's a spot you can go as well a little less traveled than the scrapyard, I think, but there are tons in towns. Just bring a little generator, backpack, put it down, grab your materials, and start cooking. You only need to be there for about two and a half to three minutes till your pizza is done, and then you're good to go. Let's go ahead and start looking at these stats, and we will go from there. The pizza vegetarian was 40 grams of protein, 119 grams of carbs, and 24.3 grams of fat with 342 grams of water and the exhaustion recovery of 30.412, overall 857.1 calories. The pizza Neapolitan had 992 calories, 45.9 grams of protein, 131 grams of carbs, and 31.5 grams of fat, with 195 grams of water and the exhaustion recovery of 24.265. The pizza Hawaiian had 835 calories, 35.1 grams of protein, 105 grams of carbs, 30 grams of fat, 343 grams of water, and exhaustion recovery of 24.016. The pizza fungi had 830.7 calories, 43.2 grams of protein, carbs was 108.6 grams, 24.8 grams of fat, 400 grams of water, and an exhaustion recovery of 26.271. The pizza 
Preciosa, I don't know, I'm probably saying it wrong, 981 calories, 47.3 grams of protein, 108.3 grams of carbs, 39.9 grams of fats, 337.8 grams of water, and exhaustion recovery of 27.041. Now, the last one, the Pizza Frutti de Mer, had 995 calories, 40.2 grams of protein, 104.8 grams of carbs, 46.2 grams of fat, 252 grams of water, and exhaustion recovery of 24.347. Which, surprising, that was the only pizza that had more fat than protein. All of the pizzas took the exact same amount of time, 10 minutes. It's really whichever ones you can find the ingredients the easiest. So my suggestion to you guys, this is my Palfi's pick, are the two pizzas is Pizza Vegetarian and the Fungi Pizza, both of which had nearly double the amount of proteins as fat, which is amazing. You burn fat about half the rate of protein, so having double the fat to protein means that you're going to burn a decent amount. Now the Vegetarian Pizza had a little bit more carbs per use than the Pizza Fungi. That's because I used a potato instead of a mushroom, and obviously potatoes have much more carbs than mushrooms. Both are really easy to get the ingredients for. If you look, you just need two mushrooms, tomato sauce, yeast, cheese, flour, water, milk. You can buy everything from the store if you don't find it. And remember keeping your ingredients above 80%. If you are going to use milk, remember milk goes bad pretty quickly. So just, you know, you make a couple pizzas if you are going to do that. Or if you hit a drop and you get some milk, use that stuff. Having main ingredients lower quality is going to really lower and impact the amount of carbs, calories, and all that stuff you're going to get from the pizza or from the food. And then finally, the pizza fungi, which was the exact same, just needed one extra mushroom and one less vegetable. Both very easy to make and both very good amounts of protein, carbs, and low fat, which is amazing. Obviously, the pizza fungi did have a little bit more vitamin D. That's what you're striving for, and you don't really want to buy cornflakes. Just something to note. Honestly, these... Pizzas went really fast, and I didn't know that they were that good in carbs and everything. Don't add the oil, and you'll be perfectly fine. So hopefully this video helped you guys figure out which ones you're going to do, and I will have the cook times and other things as well on the spreadsheet. And if you guys don't have a link to the spreadsheet, please look in the description below, and you'll get your link. Just letting you guys know, a lot of you guys aren't subscribed. If you could hit that subscribe button, that would help a ton. We're nearing 1,000 subscribers, and that's a milestone for me. I was hoping to get by the end of the year, but it looks like we're actually going to be able to do it sooner. So remember, if you did like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please give it a click. And make sure that notification bell is ticked on. Get alerted for my next upload. That should be coming out soon. Until next time, keep surviving on this crazy island we call scum.